In this video I'm going to build a blog from scratch using Django and Tailwind. I don't have any script and everything I do here is unedited. I wanted to show you how I build things from scratch so if there's anything I need to google and similar you will also follow me on that. So I've just created an empty folder and that's it. So I can begin by creating a virtual environment for the project. So Python environment 382 which is the current python version i'm running and when that's done i want to activate it source bin activate and then i install django by saying pip install django so this will now install the newest stable version of django which is 404 and also a few dependencies that django has and when that's done i can create a new project django-admin start project tail blog and then i can go into it and then have the managed pi and the main folder nice and before i continue i just want to update the database or initialize it by running python managed pi migrate and when that's done i also want to create a super user so python managed pi create super user admin tailblog.com and then a password So then I can run the server. Actually, I don't need to run it because I want to create the app. So Python manage.py start app post because I want one app for the posts, the comments and the categories. So when that's done, I can go back to the editor and go in here and add the post app to settings.py. So append it here, post. Great, so when that's done, I can go back to the models because I want a model for the post. So class model, sorry, class post, pass in models dot model. And I want a title for the post, so this should be a char field, models dot char field, max length can be set to 255. And I want a slug field, so models dot slug field same length as that and i want the introduction to show on the front page intro models dot text field and i want the body which should only show when you're in a view or on the detail page so models dot text field and i want to know when it was created so created at equals models dot date time field was in auto now add equals true so this is filled out automatically and i also want categories here as well so class category models dot model title models dot char field max length can be set to 255 and then i need a reference down here so category equals models dot foreign key category here related name is posts and if you delete a category I also want to delete all of the posts so models dot cascade great and I can define the string representation of this by just saying this oops def of course return self dot title copy this paste it down there I also want to set the class meta because I want to fix the uh, the ordering for this. So ordering equals create a tuple minus created it. So we get the newest one first. Always remember to add a comma there. So this is a tuple. And I can save this and update the database. Python mentioned by make migrations. Python mentioned by migrate. So then I can run the server, go back here again into admin.py and add it so we can add some test data from dot models import post and category admin.site.register category and admin.site.register post and save. 
So if I now go to the front page, you will see this, but I can also open up admin and log in with the user I created. So let's add a category, Django. And I can add one more, HTMX. So now I have two categories there. I can add post in Django, first in Django, and then the slug, first in Django. This is the intro, this is the body, and save. So now we have some test data. And then the next step then is to create a front page. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link in the description below. And I can create a new template folder here, templates, and then post in there then a base.html so base.html i want to use a cdn from tailwind so i go here and just copy this test here paste it fix that indentation and remove this inside the body i want a navigation bar at the top so nav class here i want padding top sorry padding in the y direction can be six Padding in X direction can be 8. And then I want the link to the left, which will go to the front page. So A, href, front page, and then just tail blog. Close that nav, set the background, BG gray 800, and text white. So I want to indent this as well because it looks a little bit better. And then here we want the main template tag. And then we add a blog block content. Close the end block as well. And then we also want a simple footer class py8 px8. And here I just want a simple copyright C2022 code with Stein and save. Then I can create a template for the front page. So front page.html extends post slash base.html and then the block content close this and the block just at the front page here just to see that this is working then I want to create a new view for this so def front page request then I want to get all of the posts here so posts equals post dot objects dot filter sorry and just say post.object.all of course and then return render passing the request parameter specify the template to use which is post slash front page dot html and we can pass in the posts here then you can see here i get an error because i haven't imported post model here so from dot models import post and save Last step then is to just import this into the main URLs file. So remove that ugly comment and say from post import views. Then I can add path and add this to be empty views.frontpage and set the name to be front page. So I can reference this other places and templates and similar. So if I now go back here and refresh on the front page, you'll see the navigation bar. The main and also the footer great so then i can do some changes here i want the background on this to be dark as well but the text here can be gray 400 so it's not as visible and then i want to have this text extra small i want to have some spacing on the main as well so i can just add this class save and refresh and then all of them are the same Nice. So then I want to make it possible to loop through the different posts here. 
So go back to front page.html. Then I can have a div. I can just be empty for now. And then for post in posts. For, so we close that. And then in here, a div class. Actually, to be more semantically correct, to say article. And close that. And this should have a py6 px can also be 6. So to make it a little bit easier, we just have p-6, pg gray 100, and rounded dash xl. Sorry, I can add a title in there, h2, class, text, 3xl, and then post.title. Remove that, and then save, and refresh. And then we actually have the first post there. Let's add one more. Then this is a HTMX article. This is a HTMX article. This is blah, but just writing some random content. And the same in the body. Save. So if I refresh now, you'll see that these are into each other there. That's not what I want. I can add a class space dash y4. Then each of the elements in this div here will have this space between them, but not above and not under. Then below this here, I want to show the intro. So post.intro. And below there, I want the link to the detail page. So a href can just be empty for now. Class, text, emerald, 500, so it's a green link, read more. Great. So we can't click it yet, but that's, I will come back to very soon. But I can add a class to this, class, mb6, so I have some space down to that. And then between this, I want to show when it was posted. So span class text sm and text gray 600 post dot created at refresh nice more so has a space below this and be four okay I need to add a block to that one since it's an inline element so I can have extra small instead. Great, so now we have a list of the posts here. Then the next step then is to make it possible to click this. So we can begin with the link, URL, post detail. And then we pass in the post.slug there. So if I save now and refresh, I'll get an error because this isn't found in the URL patterns yet. So we create that now, def post detail. Post in the request and then the slug parameter, and we get the post by saying post equals get object 404. Pass in the post, and then I want the slug to equals slug. So then you can see this was automatically imported as well. And if this doesn't exist, then it will get the 404 error. So you can return render request, pass in post slash detail dot html and then we pass in the post there as well and save so some of this should be similar so let me just copy this create a new template and save it as detail dot html but here i don't want to loop through this and i don't need this class Actually, i don't need this div at all fix the indentation like that here I don't want the read more, but I want the introduction. But here this can be font semi bold. And then in here, create a new paragraph for the body. Post.body class text gray 800 and save. So if I refresh now. Get an error still because I haven't imported this to the URLs file. So path 
and it add the slug slug because I expect a slug called slug and then views dot post detail and name for this should be set to post underscore detail and save if I refresh now see that I can click the read more and then I have the title when it was posted the intro and then the body great maybe I should also show which category this belongs to so on the detail page say post dot category dot title pipe like that so now we see HTMX there and when it was posted then below here I want to add some comments so I can add a new here div class mt4 but I want to have this the same style as that one so just copy and paste h3 class text xl comments save fresh then see it down there then in here I want to add the form for submitting the comment so form method should be post action is dot then for security add the csrf token and then I want a field for the name and the email so div class so I don't need a div class yet just add it like this label name break line input type text oops text class can be set to py4 px6 and rounded dash xl bg white just want to see what this looks like yes you can see here it looks okay make a copy of this for the email email input type email so we get some validation from the browser but i also need to set the name so name can be set to name name email and then a div for the content or the comment itself label comment text area class can have the same styling as this and we also need the name here name comment and then one button for submitting this so create one more div button class can have this maybe not white but it can be emerald 800 and text white submit remove that like that so now i have the same problem here that i have no space between these so on the form we have the class space dash y4 and save refresh so it looks a little bit better maybe this should fill out this whole screen here so add the class to all of these three here w full save and refresh nice so before i can test this i need to add a new model to the post file here so class comment models dot model here i need a reference to the post so copy this models friend key post related name can be set to comments and on delete models dot cascade the name equals models dot char field max length can be set to this and then copy this for the email oops like that it's gonna be an email field and then i want one text field for the comment just rename this comment and when it was created and here the ordering can just be like it is because i want the newest one at the bottom so then i can save this 
and then I can go to the views.py here in the detail page. If the form has been submitted, then this should be a post request. So if request.method is post, then we want to get the name from that form request.post.get name default to empty and comment same thing with that post get comment default empty if name and comment then i know that it has been filled out and we can create a new comment by saying comment equals comment dot objects dot create post equals post which references this one name is name comment is comment sorry not do that and then the rest of the fields should be automatically filled out here i need to import the comment object as well and if this is okay then i want to redirect you back to the post page so return redirect to the page called post detail and we just need to specify the slug which is post.slug then I need to import this shortcut together with the other shortcuts like that. So save and refresh. Then I can try to add one code. Code it's time gmail.com. This is the first comment submit. Okay, forgot to update the database, of course. So make migrations and migrate. Then we run the server again just refresh and there are no errors but the comments isn't showing here yet so let's go to the detail page and show them so for comment in post.comments.all that's the easiest way to get them and for div class and b for, so I guess a space below them you can have these to be white as well just copy all of this actually the styling isn't the most important part of this video anyway so here is a strong I can show who created it comment.name at when it was created comment.created at Break line, and then we show the comment here. So comment dot comment and save. So if I refresh now, you actually see the first comment I created. Nice. Can add a little and be four, so we get some space below this title. And then instead of showing it like this, I want to show a natural time. So time since, I think it's called one minute, and then just add ago at the end there so code at one minute ago but you can pipe it so it looks a little bit better when it was created like that and add a p class text gray 500 just to make it a little bit lighter oops don't remove those like that so then i can try to create one more code to second comment submit then you see here that the oldest one is on the top and the newest one is the one closest to the form you can also add the title here add new comment save and refresh so now this looks a little bit better and then the next step then is to make it possible to click this so we can show all the articles connected to one category so to do that we can begin with the link just want to add this to a new line then a href url then category detail and then we pass in post.category.id this doesn't have slugs so i just use the id Close that and save. So then we can begin by creating the view def category detail 
was in request and pk which stands for primary key category equals get object or 404 was in the category model which then was automatically imported and pk is pk so this is the field on the model and this points to the parameter up here and then we can just return a template return a render request then post slash category dot html we can pass in the category we want to show category category and save so then we can import this to the urls page okay i see that we now will actually get an error so path category int pk views dot category detail name category detail because then we need all of the urls for the categories to begin with this one so if i now refresh i can click this and then i get a new template that does not exist so let's make a copy of the front page create the title here h1 class text 3xl category dot detail close to h1 and we don't have access to this posts right now, but we can say category.posts.all and save. Save it as category.html, which we pointed to in the views.py file there. So if I now refresh, you get this is an HTMX article and then the read more button. But the title isn't showing. Category.detail, no, category.title refresh so now we see the title there and all of the connected articles so if i go to the front page go into the first one with django click django then you see this nice and that's how easy you can build a blog using django and tailwind it's not very responsive and similar but at least it should point you in the correct direction in building a very basic blog with comment functionality